Hello, I am Fort Worth Police Assistant Chief Robert Aldridge. I'm here to provide you with updated information concerning an officer-involved shooting that occurred on January 21st, 2023. A woman called 911 to report that her brother, 35-year-old Hector Galvan, brandished a handgun while arguing with her. The re caller reported that Hector was still at the residence and that he had placed the handgun in his pocket. At 12.22 p.m., South Division Patrol officers were dispatched to the residence located at 4900 block Odessa Avenue. Upon their arrival at 12.24 p.m., the officers received information from dispatch that the suspect ran into the backyard. They were also told that he was still armed with this weapon. The officers saw the suspect running and gave commands to stop, but he did not comply. The officers pursued the suspect on foot and attempted to take him into custody in the 4900 block of Rutland Avenue. Knowing that he was armed with a handgun and believing that he posed a threat to the public, an officer deployed his taser to stop the suspect's flight. However, the taser deployment was ineffective. While the suspect was on the ground, he pulled his handgun out of his pants and pointed it at the officer. Fearing that he was about to be shot, the officer fired his handgun two times at the suspect to stop his deadly threat. Yes, on the 15, he does have the weapon on him, be advised. Hey, get your hands out of your pockets! I'll shoot you, bro! Put your f***ing gun down! After he was struck by gunfire, the suspect threw his handgun. Officers immediately moved in to take the suspect into custody and provide him with medical aid. He was then transported to the local hospital and is in stable condition. As you can see, the suspect was given multiple opportunities to comply with officers' commands and attempts were made to take him into custody using less lethal options. However, the suspect failed to comply and he pointed his handgun at our officer. Due to his actions against his family member and our officer, the suspect has been charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon family member and aggravated assault against a public servant. This incident is another example of the dangers officers face every day when they are serving our community.